Welcome to the four stages of becoming an unconsciously competent facilitator. During life, as we progress and increase our abilities with any newly acquired behavior, we note a clear trend from the incompetent to the competent. There are four stages offered up by John Maxwell that largely capture the growth of an unconsciously competent facilitator. Before we undertake nearly any new behavior, we begin in an area called unconsciously incompetent. We don't know what's going on and we can't do it. We may linger in this stage for decades. Look at the amount of time it takes to discover the difference between well-run and poorly run meetings. In this stage, you simply do not know what you do not know. And you both lack knowledge and skills and are unaware of your own incapacity. And time moves on. Well, as we join the business world, typically in our 20s, you see things in meetings that work and you like them. You see things that don't work and you want to avoid them. We're not yet capable of running a meeting, but we have developed increased consciousness. During this stage, we begin to develop aspirations and hopes. We begin to envision ourselves as competent and contributory. You can also exist in this stage for a long time, depending on your determination to learn and the real extent to which you accept your incompetence. Most importantly, your consciousness enables you to observe and identify the characteristics of competency found in others as you begin to know what you don't know. You can't necessarily facilitate yet but you find that you have become consciously incompetent. Once cast into the role of facilitator, we find ourselves slipping into and out of competency. We can make our competency more consistent by taking formal training, by practicing, and participating with others who aspire to be better. But developing competence will occur much quicker than developing consciousness. The practice and training help, but so does the increase in consciousness. We grow and know and it starts to show. Congratulations! You have become consciously competent. With lots of practice and experience, perhaps a fast professional class, you reach a point where you no longer have to think about what you're doing. You become competent without the significant effort to think about what you're doing. In fact, you'll drift in and out of unconscious competence based on the skills you personally master. It takes very little time to become unconsciously competent. largely through practice and immersion. Here we are called upon because of what we know. And eventually we know that it feels right and we do it because we have become unconsciously competent. Well, Hal originally described the four stages as one, unconscious incompetence. It's a stage where you're not even aware that you don't have a particular competence. Two, conscious incompetence is when you know you want to learn how to do something but you're incompetent at doing it. And three, conscious competence. This is where you can achieve a particular task, but you're very conscious about everything you do. And four, unconscious competence. This is when you finally master it and you don't even have to think about it, such as when you have learned to ride a bike very successfully. Well, given this model, here are two takeaways. Understanding that time runs from here to here along this dimension. One, consciousness comes before competence. You don't become truly competent until you have become conscious. Two, the amount of time required to become conscious 
<clears throat> is the greatest amount of time because once conscious, competence comes much quicker. But it does take practice. And during practice, you'll find yourself drifting in and out of being unconsciously competent. Well, we are MG Rush Facilitation Training and Coaching, the world's champion of structured meeting approaches to build consensus around complex issues and challenges. Look for our Fast Weekly for hundreds of supporting tools and tips. To see some more in action, continue with the next video. Our Fast Professional Technique is actively practiced in multinational enterprises, companies, and organizations across industry and government. Let us know if we can help you or your organization by clicking on the link found in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and remember, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Mm -hmm.